First question. So, ladies, we're going to ask the same question to all three of you. Get it down, you Stephanie. All righty then. Here we go. <laughs> you just got half an hour on my table. I know you're Helen, but I'm with Denise. Okay, here we go. First question. I'd like to know what your f husband's favourite condiment is. Something that he puts on everything. Nice easy question to start with. So you cook him for him and he goes, honey, don't forget that. What condiment is your husband's favourite? Something he puts on everything. Um, I'd say... Salty. Who doesn't love condiments? He doesn't like condiments? No, there's not. I'd say salt. Salt. Oh, okay, we can put, yeah, we'll put it on there as a comment if he puts it on everything. Uh, not everything, but he puts it on a lot of stuff. Helen, what's Mike's favourite condiment? Well, yeah, he's not really into it, but he likes No sauces, nothing? No, he likes salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of seasoning, okay, we'll take that. Metaphoric. Okay, Stephanie, Richard's favourite condiment, something he puts on everything. Just move it a little bit closer to your, your, your mouth, Stephanie. There we go. Perfect. Well, he likes spaghetti and meatballs and he likes to put some cheese on it. He likes cheese? No. Are we classifying cheese as a condiment, but he wouldn't put it on everything? No. Because it's not really a condiment, is it? Like ketchup. Ketchup, hot sauce, mayo. Yeah, hot sauce. Hot sauce. And always been a sriracha every now and again, does he? Hot sauce. Yeah? yeah. Okay, let's see what he says. Question number one, nice and easy-ish. <laughs> question number two, here we go. Now, uh, this question, I'm gonna change a word. I'm just gonna change a word, just because the word I wanna say, I can't say. But I wanna change the word, I'm gonna change it to gardening. Gardening, you'll understand when I give you the question, ladies. So I'd like to know where the most unusual place you and your husband have ever been gardening. <laughs> if you catch my drift. I don't think gardening. So. I think the penny just dropped with Helen. Stephanie, do you get what we're talking about here? No, we're not talking about doing the begonias. So where's the most unusual place you've ever been gardening? Don't answer it yet. Okay, how about we start with Denise and you'll catch the drift. Okay, Denise, where's the most unusual place you've ever, you know, turfed the hedge? Our hedge trimming was in Santa Barbara. Your hedge trimming? Yes, in Santa Barbara, in the harbor. In the harbor in Santa Barbara? On the beach. On the beach? Yes. Were the people around? Sort of. So you're not very uh, in the modest. These they were far away. Okay. Anyone else from Santa Barbara here? Yeah. Just if you see them on the beach, just stay away. Okay. So on the beach in Santa Barbara, close to the harbour. Okay. Do you get what we're talking about now, Stephanie? It's okay. We'll come to you in a minute. Okay, I'll... <laughs> what is gardening? Okay, wait there. Oh! oh. <laughs> I won't tell you what I said, but nevertheless, she's got it. Okay, Helen. <laughs> Helen. <clears throat> Where's the most unusual place you've ever trimmed the bush? I think we lost her. <clears throat> okay. I was a hootista. So you were wet. I was a hootista. So we worked in the dairy plant. Okay. The cow shed. So it was in the pit. In the pit? In the pit in the cow shed. Oh, at like the shed. That's not what I thought she said the first time round. <laughs> Do you agree with me? But it didn't sound like she said shed. Yeah. Yeah, she, it's the accent, I know. But the way you said it, it kind of sounded like ship with a P, with a T, instead of, yeah. 
<laughs> That's what it sounded like. But in the cow shed, in the pit of a dairy farm. Wow. Not a garage. Brings a whole new meaning to uh, gardening. <laughs> Moving on. What was the address? That was terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stephanie? Yeah? 64 years married, you must have done your first year of gardening. Yeah, I know. Where's the most unusual? Where's the most unusual place? The gas town. Where? Where you buy your gasoline. Buy a gasoline oh depot. Oh my At the gas station. Yeah? What time of the day was it? Nine o'clock at night. Was the gas station still open? That's not a regular gas station. Oh, is it a, a depot? Like a yeah, fuel depot? That's only for. Oh, this is hard to say. Uh, it wasn't. You kind of realize he was a soldier. Yes, so it's a military gas and depot. He, he had, a, he had, a, he had a duties. Duties, I bet he did. And he had to stay there and watch the gas station. Before or after the gardening? Before. Before. Anyway. So at a gas station in the, in like, in the military base? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, thank you ladies for that. We drink to see what the men are going to say when they come back. We'll all find out soon enough. Here we go. Last question. Here we go. This last question is a multiple choice question. I thought it'd be gentle to you, ladies. Last question and all. It's a multiple choice one. So it's uh, you know. Let's let's use the example of last night. It was formal night. It was New Year's Eve. Everybody dressed up sharp and looked great. Your husbands were taking a long, steamy shower. <laughs> to make a jump. <laughs> Kicked open the bathroom door, steam filled the cabin. And there's your husband standing there in all of his glory. What best describes what you are gazing upon? Now, multiple choice here. Are you okay there, Helen? <laughs> are you okay? You've got a bit of the giggles, have you? It'll be all right. Well, we'll soon find out. Here are your choices. Option one is a stretch limousine. Oh, yeah. Option two is a sports car. Vroom, vroom. Option three is a dump truck. Uh, uh. Or option four, a pink Volkswagen Beetle with two flat tires. Mimi. So there are your options, ladies. <laughs> Stephanie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So Denise, what, uh, you know, what's, what's in the forecourt of, of, the, of the garage? You do remember, still in the middle of it, right? You're newlywed, yeah, I know. Stretch limousine. Stretch limousine. <laughs> For the moment, it's like, I'm newlywed. It's a stretch limousine right now. Mm. Stomach. Sun, what? Oh, he's got a sunburned stomach. He's got a sunburned stomach. I don't think Helen understands the question. Do you get what we're saying here? Probably the beetle bomb. The beetle. The Volkswagen beetle with two flat tires. Wow. 32 years married. I bet you when they were three years, it was a stretch limousine as well. Okay, Stephanie. 64 years married. What are you gazing upon as Richard comes out of the shower? Is it a stretch limousine? Is it a sports car? Is it a dump truck? Or is it a Volkswagen Beetle with two flat tires? Dump truck. The dump truck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, the dump truck. She's going with, yes, dump truck. Give our ladies a big round of applause because we're going to bring back the gentleman now. Yeah. Here we go. Clap those hands in time of the music. Come on, clap those hands. Cool. I think we've lost our gentleman. Well, Here they come, Richard's leading the pack. Welcome back, gentlemen. Where's Richard going? Richard, this way. 
Here we go. So we have a mic. Welcome back, Mike. Mike's looking very jolly. Take a seat, Mike. Here we go, Richard. Let me give you a hand up here. Oh, sorry, Mike. Give you your hand. There we go. And there you go, Mike. Take a seat, Holly. And we have it done. Bowing down to Richard. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to get started now, gentlemen. I'm going to. I've asked your ladies three questions exactly like I asked you. It's now your time to answer those questions, much like your ladies did for your questions. So we're going to start, ladies, by passing the microphone over to the gentleman. And here we go. Done. Question number one is: What is your favourite condiment? Trojans XLs. <laughs> oh my God. 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 No, 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 no. It's definitely my accent then, isn't it, really? Condiment. Relish. 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 Oh, she gets a, oh. That's not what she said. Every hot dog I eat is relish and mustard. Relish and mustard. Okay. She said salt. I don't. I told you. He told me that the other day. Okay, consonant is available after the show. Okay, salt though, she says. So, relish for future reference. I think you failed. Trojan Excel, what the <laughs> <laughs> I like that he went on every hot dog I have, relish and mustard. It's not like every hot dog he's had is going to have a Trojan Excel on it, that'd be really weird. Wow. Bless you, Don, bless you. Mike, what's your favourite con demon? There's a T on the end. I do. What is your favorite? What's your husband's favorite condiment? What do you put on? What's something you put on everything? Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. I just salt and pepper on my food. Salt and pepper on my food. Well done. You got the points there. And Richard, what's your favorite condiment? Something you put on everything. I say salt and pepper. You say salt and pepper. Wow. You're not thinking of something a bit more saucy? What? No? Salsa. Salsa? Close. We'll give you half a point for that. Yeah, we said hot sauce. There you go, we got that imagine. There we go, well done. Question number two, gentlemen. We're prying a little bit more now. But for the purpose of this question, I changed the word. I changed the word. Now, this word actually confused Stephanie for a little while, but we've got it. I changed the word to gardening for this next question, and I'd like to know where the most unusual place, gentlemen, you've ever been gardening with your wives, together, at the same time. Okay, hang on, just, just, let me just clarify, you know what we're talking about. Okay. Don, where's the most unusual place you've ever cut the grass? Do you remember where we had that first kiss? Uh-huh. It's on the sand. Yeah. In Santa Barbara. At the end of the breakwater, there's a... Uh, and you've probably seen it, that big sandy breakwater that kind of comes off the end of the, yeah. the dock in Santa Barbara. Yeah. The princess ship docks yeah. out front. Actually, the princess ship was there. Oh, princess ship was there! <laughs> we were on the beach. Oh, hi. Right. Playing around. <laughs> Yeah, there are people here from Santa Barbara. We were gardening on the beach in Santa Barbara. I think there's people there from Santa Barbara, so if you want to join in the camp fair to get home later on, you, know, you can do. Share the story. But um, you know what? Yes, you are right. Now, can I get? Can I just get my head around this? It was on the first date as well, the day you first kissed? Third. Third date. Okay, moving on. Second date. Second date, third date. <laughs> It, it was a two-day date. Uh, no, no, okay, nevertheless, we're moving on. Santa Barbara, you get a point. I'm never going to look at that beach again in the right way. Okay, Mike, where's the most unusual place you've ever, you know, cut the grass, turned the hedge, trimmed the bushes? 